Our next speaker joined Toastmasters in 2012. Because she was terrified of public speaking, and that fear was keeping her from reaching her full potential with her newly formed business. She started by taking baby steps. She then began to realize that you get out of Toastmasters how much you put into it. So she decided to step up to the plate, sound familiar, <laughs> by helping to form a new club, lift every voice and becoming the first president. Please welcome Stephanie Terman. What is this going to be like? Uh, oh my gosh, what am I going to walk into? And, and sometimes fear to the point where I get paralyzed and I won't even show up. Or even I won't even speak up. But today, I'm here to tell you about my experience since I've joined the Toastmasters. I'm an entrepreneur, first time ever running my own business. Several years ago, I suffered a tragic tragic, um, devastating experience in my life. Actually, it was so devastating that it had taken and shook, it had it had shook me to my core, and it had shaken me to my core, that I had lost my voice, I had lost my confidence, I had lost everything, and I began to undergo some therapy. And I'll make this real fast. I went through therapy for about five, five years, about in Six year period time, therapist asked me, so what are you going to do with your life, Stephanie? And I said, well, I don't want to work for anyone. I don't know where this came from. I said, I, really, I, I, I want to work for myself. She said, why don't you start your own business? I said, because I, I don't know how to run a business. She, she said, why don't you take a course? And I went to CCAC and I decided to take a business course. And sure enough, I had identified a couple experienced business partners. And I said, once you come aboard, I'm trying to get back into, the, into life and, 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 and step up to the plate and, 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 and find my voice again. And they said, sure, we'll join you. So we submitted an RFP to one of the biggest four teams here in the city. As a matter of fact, we just lost the playoffs. They became my first client. How, they, how did they become my first client with 11 other groups, consulting firms? 11 of them. We were shortlisted. And, at that, and it was down to three. So they said that we want each group to do a presentation in front of our CEOs our developers and everybody else that's a part of this project. Now I'm the president, I'm the founder, and I said, a presentation? <laughs> Who's gonna present? I'm not. <laughs> so my group got together and we began practice. And sure enough, we were in corporate, I was stepping into corporate America sitting in front of a panel of people to pitch the team that we felt was the best, which was my firm. And me being the president, my only job was to introduce the rest of the team members. <laughs> terrified. Terrified. So I get up and I say, hi, my name is Stephanie. Shaking in my boots, pretty much like I'm shaking at night. <laughs> shaking in my boots, and nothing else comes out. And I go run and sit down. <laughs> and my business partner, say, she introduced them. She did my partner. And the next thing you know, we get the contract, and 
all the developers and everybody's wondering, does she talk? <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I knew they were talking about me whispering, and I said, no, I don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Terrified. And if my good friend joins us here today, after I went in and put my head down low and felt so bad about this situation, I said, you know what, Stephanie, I'm, I'm terrified to speak in front of a group of people as well. But I've been looking and doing some research. How about we join Toastmaster? We'll do it together. She's not only my good friend, but she's my mentor as well. Whenever she makes a suggestion, I always know it's a good one for me. She has my best interests at heart, and she's here today, so make sure you need curly glass. And, um, so I said, okay, so we started, I, should go, we jo I joined uh, North Hills Toastmasters. And I started taking baby steps. I can remember the first time table topics came up and I was like, oh, please. <laughs> what can this be on the agenda? What do you mean everybody get a chance to participate? I just wanted to come and observe. But I went, to, as, I, as I continued to go, I remember stepping up and saying, okay, I'll do a table talk. Table, table topic, and I did, and it wasn't so bad. I didn't do that well, but it wasn't that bad because they was counting ums and ahs and so's and uhs and all this stuff. And I was like devastated at the time it was going. Oh, I was sweating bullets. I said, this is too, way too much for me. Way too much for me. I'm not going back there. But I run a business. I need to. I, I, I still haven't talked in front of these people that I need to. Say something to them. <laughs> <laughs> We're a family, right? So I can talk. I can tell y'all my deepest fears, right? We're a family. I'm so glad that's the thing. So, there's the timer. Oh, I have a friend here that likes to count um. She always raised her hand to do um, so I don't know how many I can add. <laughs> so, fast forward. Baby steps, yes, I did, but I didn't put all of what I should have. Because at that point, at some point, I should have been gotten better at what I was doing because it was time for me to present. And I became a, a, a board member, board, uh, was pointed to a board, and, and, and it was around the same time that uh, Martin Luther King's birthday was coming up. And they needed someone from the board to speak on behalf of Miss Katie Everett Jackson. Johnson. Katie Everett Johnson. So they came to me and said, Stephanie, we want you to be the speaker this year on behalf and because we're honoring Miss Katie. And I know for a fact, no wanted to come out of my mouth, <laughs> but but yes came instead. <laughs> and when I went home, I was like, what did you just do to yourself? And sure enough, I go to my friend and I said, oh my gosh, I got to speak in front of all these dignitaries and mayor and this and that. Everybody in the city is there. And then there's this whole big audience and I've never done anything to this level before. Oh. She said, okay, calm down, you can do this. I said, really? She said, yes, <laughs> just remember, take a deep breath and we'll prepare a speech. Sure enough, I practiced the speech several times in the mirror. I read it, I studied, I found out a little more about Miss Katie. And sure enough, one of the biggest things that I realized is that the first time I was first time, 99% of my fear is once I show up, there's only 1% of it left. And that's just doing it, right? So I got there. I showed up. I did 99% of it. I showed up, dressed up, suited up, ready to go. And I, they called me up. I, I was introduced by the executive of uh, 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 Allegheny County Executive Winston. Now, I'm under pressure. I step up to the podium, and I already have my notes in front of me. And as I'm saying who we're honoring, now, Miss Johnson's name is K. 
Katie Everett Jones. And I say, we're here, thank you for coming out in honor of Katie Everett Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone in the crowd hollered, Johnson! <laughs> You know what? I'm not doing one of the favorite things I like to be doing in my lifetime. I, as a matter of fact, I fear this the most. So let me start over. And I say, thank you for coming out as we honor Miss Katie Ever Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> they said Johnson! <laughs>
in other areas of my life. You guys have been a wonderful crowd tonight. Thank you.